Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuche. And right here, I got a Pen 309. It's a level wind reel. Pretty old school. It's been it's been around for a long, long time. They still have newer models that are out there and stuff like that, which is cool. But the reason I'm doing this video is because of this worm guide right here. A lot of guys like to use them, and they like it because they don't have to level out their line. However, I want to do this video just to show you how much this actually hurts you for your line capacity. Obviously, it, it hurts you on your cast on your distance it, it does a lot of things against you guys and if you can learn to use it without it you know it, it's only going to improve your fishing guys so with that being said i'm going to sacrifice this reel and well not really the reel the worm guide um, i'm going to spool it up with braid right now and i'm going to use the worm guide to to guide the line back and forth if it craps out on me it's fine i was going to pull the worm guide off anyways and and uh, sell it like that this is a consignment reel that was brought in and then if you notice any of my spooling videos if i'm spooling a reel for a customer i'd never use the worm guide and it's because it limits the amount of line capacity but a lot of people don't really believe it oh no no okay so what i'm gonna do this is this is a sacrificial video for that knowledge right there guys and i'm gonna use the worm guide from start to finish hopefully it finishes all the way through tell you the truth but being a little bit of a pain in the butt to get in there but we got it going <laughs> Tighten up our drag. <clears throat> and we're going to start. Let's see how much line we can get on this bad boy. Old school reel has been putting it down for a long time. There we go. Ready for this, guys? This is gonna be a real eye opener as to why I never use the worm guide. Oop, but I gotta go the right direction.
guys. That's 100 yards of braid on the rail right there. 100. And this is of the 50 pound test tight line hollow core braid. Let's keep it going. Let's see how much we get on there. Alright guys, that's 200 yards, and I'm telling you what, man, I'm not liking this por portion of it because I got basically no hands on. All I'm doing is putting my foot on the pedal and just keeping it there, letting the reel do its work. Oh man, I don't know how shops can do that. It's like using the worm guide. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> that's 300 yards right there and it's starting to level out now it's starting to get more even i was kind of worried about that at the very beginning of the video where it was all bowed up on the sides and stuff like that so we'll see how it looks i'm thinking we'll probably get five to six hundred yards of line on this reel <laughs> That's 400 yards. Looking good. There's 500, getting it. That's 600. Wow. I'm getting some pretty good line capacity on there. Seven hundred yards and still going, man. That's 840, I missed the uh, 800 mark, but we'll stop it at nine. <laughs> That's 
That's 900 yards. And I'm almost flush with the top end of the spool. I'm not really helping it much because this is part of the deal, guys. Y'all are using this alone, so I'm kind of leaving it alone. But as you can see, once it gets towards the top end, it starts to bevel in this way on line capacity. So, yeah. Um, I can get a little more, to be fair, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on the top end level there. Obviously, doing it by hand, I'm going to get more because I'm going to be able to fill in that gap right there. So... All right, so right there you can see that I'm flush with the top end of the spool all the way across to this end of the spool. Oh yeah, let's see how much line we got. 920 yards right there, guys. 920. And what I'm talking about is right here, guys. You can see the inner end of the spool right there. It's flush with the, the capacity of right there, so... That's as high as I can go using the worm guide. Now you're going to say we pull the worm guide off and we're going to start our, we're going to continue our testing. But first, before I pull the worm guide off, I'm going to go and down spool. Actually, you know what? No, I need to take the line off before I can down spool it. Reason being, because otherwise I'm gonna have to cut the worm off because there's no way to get it off without it. Here we go. Let it cool down before I go any further. We'll come back to this. All right, guys, I am back, and we're still dealing with the 50 pound of the tight line, and we're still on this 309. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spool it like I would normally spool it without using the worm guide. And here we go. You're gonna see the line difference big time. Can't wait. Why am I? <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, oh my man, I need this. In there, there we go. Not even ready.
is that is 100 yards of line on the reel now you can see where i have used the worm guide and this one so you can see how it stacks up differently obviously doing it by hand it is more controlled and definitely get more line we'll see There's 200 yards right there. That's 200. I'm gonna rock it. Morning. I'm recording, but I'm not live. What can I do for you? Uh huh. Okay. I was like, maybe you can give us some ideas or advice, man, because we, we haven't had any. Well, what have y'all been doing fishing for? Just regular fish, uh, mullet, you know, I mean, shrimp, mullet, uh, cut bait. We uh, fish offshore. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't go on a boat. We fish offshore. Mm -hmm. We've been out to the island, we've been out to Randy, we've been out to basically everywhere. Yeah. You know, we're gonna reach we spend time together with my parents have passed, so um it's like man, I go I was passing by and said, Let me talk to this guy, maybe they can tell me something, maybe they can give me some advice. Have you ever tried trolling lures or anything like that? Lures, uh well brother has. Uh, I'm not into uh, Short hand <laughs> to be sitting there. No, you don't. You don't throw them. You troll them. You let the boat do the work. Yeah, well, I went out on the boat. We're offshore. Onshore. Yeah. I keep hearing offshore. No, onshore. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> totally I'm different. Sorry. Dude. <laughs> I'm, sorry. No. I'm I'm halfway deaf. Sorry. Mm. Uh, we don't go out often, but we go out enough to, well, we should have already caught something. Yeah. You know, something worth taking home, you know. Um, have y'all ever tried mixing, like, fish bites into your, your, your gear? The fish bite, uh, we used to use it. We haven't used it in a while. Well, um, the flavors that I have here are called electric chicken and power line. And, uh, flesh pink and then they have it in shrimp and crab flavor mm. normally when I go out and I go for drum and red and stuff like that I'll put a piece of the fish bite on there and then I'll tie on my shrimp or right. mullet or crab and stuff like that okay. we, we, we <coughs> use uh, like two hooks and yes the double drops eight. okay mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what's on those right now yeah yeah <laughs> you know and I like I told my brother I said man I see a lot of guys that are doing that the, the leader, like, once you use the lake, you know, with the chef, with the weight, and then the hook way up here. Yeah. And uh, I said, well, hey, we're doing this shit wrong. And he's like, dude, we've been fishing since we were kids. I was like, I know, dude, but mm -hmm. come on, dude, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah. Um, also, too, I mean, when you're out there fishing, are y'all by yourselves? Are you seeing, seeing other people? I mean, we're usually <coughs> by ourselves. We, 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 we try to find somewhere where we're not bothered. Yeah, so we we know how to fish. We know how to throw straight. You know, we, we got these clowns that come around. For you. They're like, hey, dude, you just crossed all my lines. Dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, we try to stay away from everybody. Okay. We see it. Um, y'all don't mix like throw on any uh, sunscreen or clean your coolers out with Clorox. No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, you're talking about yeah that you get into the shrimp and so not. Yeah. Now, we're, we're, we're old school. We were already all about all that, you know. Put it yeah. in a cooler with ice. 
it's clean, but we just wipe it down. Yeah. We don't, you know, wash it with soap and all that shit. Now. We wipe it down until it's clean and we leave it. They, we always have a shit uh, cooler. Mm -hmm. That's all it's for, for sure. Cool. Like company, you know? Nice. Okay. Uh, we don't use it. I got one, he's got one way. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We grew up. You know, and now I can still throw these reels. Mm -hmm. uh, I see people looking at me because when I lost my hand, you know, I got that that good chunk, man, where I can get it out there. Yeah. You know, I don't got that real high arch. Yeah. I got that. Man, that's going to go. Yeah. You know, uh, I my stepson said, you know, she got that uh, something dry, man, and it just, it just takes off. You know? mm. And I still have that, even without a hand. Mm. And I see guys that, that throw with spinning reels, and I'm like, man, they can get a lot farther with a spinning reel, but it, they don't know how to throw it, man. They don't, they don't have the right form. Yeah, right? you know, it's like, like my brother looks at me, he goes, well, he goes, everybody's looking at you, but I don't know. So let's go over there. On, 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 on the leaders, are you making your own? Yeah, we use like the ones uh, from Walmart. Mm. You know, Walmart or Big Bucket or, or the ones we get from ranches. Okay. My brother, I, I told my brother, we're actually standing away at Walmart. I mm. said, you see, I thought it was. He goes, yeah. Said, what is it? He goes, oh, that's one of those CBD. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> he goes, what? I go, no, it's not. I go, that's what I thought. Every time I went by there, that's what I thought it was. Some kind of smoke shop. Dude. Yeah. He goes, what do you guys? I said, that's a bait shop, dude. It's a taco. He goes, what? Yeah. He goes, oh, shit. I'm going to go by there right now. I go, do will check it out because he was looking for a ride. Mm -hmm. He's one online, I go, hey, go by there, go talk to these guys, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he goes, all right, he goes, he goes, I didn't, I goes, every time, he goes, I thought that was a smoke shot, I go, yeah, that green, kind of throws <laughs> <you> off, man. <laughs> well, I got the green because it, it was a safety thing for us when we're down beach, we didn't want right. to be run over by yeah, Yahoo. Yeah, no, 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 I understand, stuff, so. because, like, you know, it's like, until y'all push those flags out there, Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. When I saw a whole boy going out there, y'all, he was picking them up. I was like, "What the fuck, bait? What?" That, what? <laughs> and I was like, "Oh shit, I got cut in there." That's when I came by again. I said, "Oh hell, that's when I stopped by the soccer home boy." Yes. I told my brother, he was like, "What the fuck?" Well, um, on the double drops that you are using, are is it made with the hooks already, or no, do you add the hooks? Add the hooks. Okay. Um, are you getting any kind of good pulls at all, or? Uh, we'll, we'll get some bites, you know, but nothing crazy. Uh, the only one we got, well, the last one we got, is uh, he called a stingray. Mm -hmm. I had, he was bringing it in. Who was he at? So we were at uh, Oso. Mm -hmm. He was bringing it in. He goes, oh, man. I said, dude, that's a stingray. And he goes, what? He goes, yeah, that's a stingray. I go, it hasn't came up. Your rod has not come up at all, dude. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, hey. And I said, dude. He got close enough. I said, "There it is." Yeah. <laughs> I could see it. Wow, the pie that thing was about that big. I said, "Well, I mean, if you're using all the right baits and stuff like that, your leader may be something." I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I've seen leaders. Uh, <laughs> how, how do they say the sun will shine on a dog's ass like, at least once in his life? Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Yes, everybody gets lucky with all types of gear, oh, like yeah. that for sure. However, with our leaders, we design them from the knowledge of catching and seeing what they right. like, what they don't like. I've thrown underwater cameras with my leaders to see them come up right. and actually eat the bait or choose not to yeah. eat the bait. And when they choose not to, then I start thinking, okay, why didn't he eat it? Yeah. What threw him off that he didn't like it or whatever? Exactly. And so by me doing all that research and development, I put that all into the leaders. So that way anybody at any level of fishing, right. whether they're just starting or been there for a long time and maybe in a rut, <laughs> I've been there. I've been there too. You know, just go out and I mean, I'm normally I'm the one smashing on the fish, and I just I'm in a rut. And as soon as you break that rut, you're golden. You know, oh yeah, you're back on it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, I, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. But I would, can you can be overcasting the fish. You can be undercasting the fish. Um, there's just so many, so many variables in there. You know, I'm not catching them. Well. If I asked you the basic questions, this, this, and I work my way up because to help you develop a game plan, I need to know what you're, right. not, what you're not doing and right. what you're working with and stuff like that. Um, but the reason why I brought up the braid is because I grew up like that all my We hated braid because blow up and then yeah. you can't get it out. Well, 
I'm a different man now. <laughs> all, all this, everything from here to that way is all mine. Nothing but braid, and it's hollow core. So if I, I got video of me blowing the reel up, just get it out in a few yeah. seconds, go right back to fishing. It's this not, one, it's this not this. Looks thicker. It's hundred pound test. This one looks thicker than the one I had on there. Oh yeah. The one I had on there looks Okay, fine. Now, now to go like that? Turn it sideways. Yeah, you can see where it's flat. Yeah. Yeah, but just, you know, that's what I'm saying. The one I had on there was, it wasn't like that. So, so I, I throw that thing, right? And I got that, like I said, I got that hard. Good. I, 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 I throw eight, 10, 12 ounce weights yeah. in, with bait into the wind. Hey, yeah, and, and then and get I'm, getting, out there. I'm getting over 100 yards. Yeah, I can get them out there. So, I'm, I'm the same way. Uh, my brother, he's, he's the same way as I am, but he kind of slacks off. It's fine, dude. But you see, that's a lot different from the one I have. Right? Yeah, the, the line actually, I, I braided it back in on itself. Oh, okay. So you come down and, and rub your finger right here, go like this. Okay. That's where the tail end of that line is. Wow. So now this tip is, is 200 pound test. Yeah, boy. So now, like when you backlash or you come up against the rocks or you come against yeah. the jetties or pier or whatever, you ain't got to worry about getting cut off. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, <laughs> every single reel is like that. We, we, we don't do mono anymore. Yeah. It, now, don't get me wrong, if you're offshore trolling, you know, offshore fishing, then yes, it's a must. In the region being, water makes it twist up so you get a lot of twists in them. but for me I will never go back to mono uh, you still use it on my leaders right like all my leaders are mono yeah you know it's there because it, it needs to be yeah but even really all, all of them all break and one and that's actually kind of the deal right here this is a pin 309 right okay so I spooled it using the worm guide and I got over 900 yards of uh, 50 pound test on there However, right now I'm doing a test to show people why we don't use the worm guide because it's like a governor on your vehicle. Mm -hmm. You put it at 45, your vehicle can go 200, but it will not go 200 because, because of the governor. So because of that, I'm, I'm showing people why we choose to fish without the worm guide mm -hmm. and choose to work a little harder. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, but, yeah, but, that, that's, what, you know, <clears throat> I have, that's what we used to do. Mm -hmm. I, I had to get rid of like six of them that I had like that mm -hmm. because it was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. You know, and because of this, I suffer from PTSD mm -hmm. for that reason. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when I get there, it's like, oh my God, you know, I, I just start, I lose it mm -hmm. you know, because of the accident. But that being said, yeah, I used to have like six of them like that yeah. without, the, without the worm, just a dish. Yeah. All day long. So, so what are you fishing with now? Uh, like I said, uh, the leaders. Uh, well, the reel. The, the reel. The, the reel itself is. Uh, I'm telling you. I know I got a Garcia. I got but they all have worm guides on. Yeah, them? they all okay. have. Okay. I, I can't yeah. use it without because of that reason. Mm -hmm. But the ones I had, they were all pins, uh, Garcias, big ones. Mm -hmm. You know, for like real offshore like uh let's say aransas deep water yeah you know what i mean so and i was like man and i hated to get rid of them mm. you know but like i told my brother it's like i can't i can't do it every time i'm walking and i see him i lose it yeah you no. know and he's like well you gotta get rid of them yeah. okay. well, it's um, still, it still bothers me even talking about it yeah it, oh yeah that yeah um with that being said the, the best thing we can do is when you come back and bring the gear that you're working with now okay. leaders hooks you know your tackle your rod and reel that way we can see what you're working with and start from there because like i said my recommendations are with the fish bites and shrimp um and start from there start from the basics because right. that you get that done and everything else yeah, just falls into I, place well, you know what i mean yeah. gotta go back you know to getting the way we used to be when we were kids it's like well what do you mean i said we're not doing something. Something's not right here because you know we used to go out and whack and all. It was like boom, boom, boom right away. Mm -hmm. I go down to uh, right there at the art center. Mm -hmm. Everybody sitting there. I would throw out, and it was just like one after another. Boom, boom, and everybody's looking like what the fuck? What do you mean, shrimp? Well, 
little shit. I say, I don't say that, but it's not what I'm using, it's what I'm throwing. Mm -hmm. It's where I know they're going to be out there. You guys throw it, I'm watching you guys, and you're only like fucking 30, 40 feet out. Yeah. You know, and I'm throwing, and I'm way the fuck out there, you know, at least 50 yards. Yeah. You know, and they're like, well, well you know, I, I, I said, you need a bigger weight for one. Mm hmm. Oh, but then that's a, I know. You know that's <laughs> what the rock's made for. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to bring something big and it's not going to break on you, dude. You know, is that the same thing with weight? Just you gotta get used to it, man. Gotta practice. Yeah. Gotta practice. All right, bro. We'll be up uh, this weekend. I'll talk to my brother, and uh, we'll come by. All right. Come Sa on. Saturday, I won't be here. I'll be at Kingsfield, but Jeff will be here. Okay. And he's come fishing with me over several hundred times. Yeah. So, so he fun. knows he knows the gear and all the tackle yeah, too. So. Before I come and get those two those two hook leaders, wants to float. All right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right guys. Y'all have a good one. <coughs> All right, guys, so we're back. I'm going to continue on with this. guys that's 400 yards right there and still going we're gonna put that line on there There's 500 yards. Six hundred yards. It's really starting to stack on quick now. Seven hundred yards. yards looking nice <laughs> thousand yards and I would say
say I'm about flesh. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be fair there. They, they, I'm saying I'm about flesh there. And so you can see where the line is. Actually, no, look, I still got room. Still got room, but I'm at a thousand yards. Right there. Thousand yards of 60 or 50 pound tight line on those pin 309. Crazy amount of line. Definitely awesome. So, all right. Now, one of the things I will have to cover though on that deal with having the worm guide on there and stuff like that. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend this level if you're casting the reel. Um, you're not going to get the the good cast that you're looking for because it's overly filled. We'd probably have to take it down 200 yards at minimum to get a good cast. See, now, that's also going to be the same for the other room. I should have stopped it where I would stop forecasting and stuff like that. Just to see the line capacity difference. But as you can tell, the worm guy does hinder you. And granted, on this smaller reel, it ain't that much. But when you get to a bigger reel, it can really make the difference on how much line you get on there by having the worm guide on there. But the real one is, too, when you go to casting, it can really slow you down. And when you cast out, you will see that the worm guide is still moving, too. So it's just adding that much more wear and tear to the reel. And it's going to wear out that much faster. So let's go ahead and get it down spooled again and go from there. <laughs> 